I'm the only Sir Cracker, and this is my garden. Hey there, YouTube friends. I'm the only Sir Cracker, and I'm hiding out today in the pantry. You know, we're in the middle of moving, so everything had to be shifted around a little bit. And, uh, of course, to answer your questions, because I'm sure some people out there might have a question or two about what's going on with the move. Well, being it's almost Christmas and that time of year, I didn't think it would be a good idea to kick out the people who are currently living in our new home at this time of year. So, being a nice guy that I am, <laughs> I have decided to go ahead and uh, let them stay until after the new year. Um, and then probably around February uh, or uh, possibly March. See, January, February. Yeah, February, March somewhere in there, um, of having them move out and move into a new place of their own, uh, if not you know, sooner, January would be good. And then we will move in uh, shortly after I clean and disinfect and do what you got to do in order to move into someplace. So I had to makeshift a grow room. It's no longer the grow room, art room. The art room no longer exists. It has been completely torn down. Now it's the laundry room, <laughs> the grow room, the pantry, <laughs> the pantry. <laughs> it's just part of the craziness that is me, I guess, and my family. So <clears throat> I just wanted to give you a quick little tour of what's been growing on here and uh, kind of walk you through a little bit of it and what my thought processes are. Okay, so let's start with my, my favorite, uh, the tomato. Hopefully we can shoot this here so it looks good. So this is the tomato. I'm going to back up here and give you a really good shot of the tomato. And so the bottom leaves um, are all slowly dying off. And I think a lot of this is probably because... They were probably getting too close to the, the light source and probably burned because the inner ones are fairly nice. Um, all the new growth looks absolutely amazing. I've got a sucker here that's growing. I'm going to go ahead and let that sucker grow until it's oh probably about 8, 10 inches tall. And then I'll snip it and I'll pot it. I'll put it into another pot and I'll make another tomato plant. The, the hope in this is what I want to do is I want to have it so that I have all of my tomatoes growing this coming growing season from all of my tomatoes that are that were growing from uh, last season. So, of course, this, I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. It is the... Um, uh, first lady is what I'm growing. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take it out of this pot, which is just too small. It's kind of gross, whatever. Uh, I'm going to uh, take a five gallon uh, bucket and I'm going to cut the top off uh, where the, the handle attaches uh, just to kind of make it look like it's not so much a five gallon bucket, even though we all know it is a five gallon bucket. Um, and I'm going to plant it really, really deep um, in that, uh, probably almost all the way to the bottom. Take a couple of these bottom leaves off and continue to grow it. So that's what I'm going to end up doing, hopefully. And then, um, so that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do with this. And the same time I do that, I'm also going to put um, a steak around it, a tomato steak. Um, so then it gives it a little bit more stability. Uh, the goal with this particular plant is not to necessarily grow fruit. It's just to grow for more cuttings so that I can produce more tomato plants for uh, next year. So that's kind of the, the thought process there. Um, the purple jalapeno. She's still just a stick. I think um, she's actually gone into a dormant, dormancy 
she is still alive. There's still, you know, green uh, stuff on her. And um, there's a new little growth here. Woo! My phone fell. <laughs> okay, everything's still working. If you look down here in the very bottom, there's a brand new growth down here that's coming up. And then this one is still on there. It hasn't come off. So hopefully that is indicating to me that it is still alive. It is still growing. It's just in a dormancy stage. And that is perfectly fine with me if she wants to do that. I did make a video a while back. And I wanted to touch on this because I have um, a J, let's see, JT Bear, I believe his name is. He's got um, a YouTube channel, um, and I'm actually going to post this video to the video that he just posted. Um, I believe it was actually today. And it is, uh, he's preparing his peppers, or where it was preparing his peppers, uh, to bring them in the house. I did shoot a video, for those of you who watch me all the time, I did shoot a video um, on bringing in the lemon... Oh, hello. I don't want to break it. Bringing in this one here, which is the lemon, uh, the lemon pepper. Um, I did everything that he was talking about doing. Uh, washing off the roots, washing off the plant real good, spraying it with the soap and all that. It still brought in the bugs. So what I did after I realized the bugs as I, I did some research and I found my neem oil, uh, neem oil. So I mixed up the neem oil. Uh, it was like three or four drops for a quart of water. And you put it in a, in a sprayer. And I know my sprayer is right here somewhere. I don't know where she's at, but you put it in a sprayer and you spray the plant down with it. And the neem oil actually kills the bugs. It, it, does something that gets to their digestive system or whatever. I'm not an expert on it, but so that is, I mean, it's a suggestion. I'm sure that's come across a few times now. I'm not the first one to tell him this, but uh, that is definitely something I learned through this process. I did it a couple of months ago. And I mean, let me move this out of the way here. Or we just try to move it out of the way. It's hard to do with just one hand. Oh, I really need to repot this tomato bad. Oh, it's getting top heavy. Uh, and these get staked, but <clears throat> move her out of the way. And all my plants, by the way, are hers. They're all girls. Um, this is, if you remember, sorry about this. This is the purple jalapeno. And if you remember, I made this self-watering container and I showed you how to make a self-watering container and it just sits on there. And <clears throat> this is it. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, there are no bugs on it anymore. Um, no, nothing. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's because I sprayed the neem oil on it. Um, so it's a great little plant and I'm very, very, very thrilled and very happy with it. And it's been hiding out in the corner there for a while being, being antisocial, but that's fine. Uh, I like it when they're antisocial. They just kind of stick to themselves and do their own little thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to pot, repot this tomato plant or stake it tonight. This thing is really getting top heavy. Okay. Move that out of the way. And here is the firecracker that uh, I think it's called explosive ember is what this one is. This is also a pepper plant. And this one also had those little white bugs and I sprayed it too. Um, and I couldn't figure out what they were called. They were, uh, it wasn't gnats. Um, white fly, I think is what they're called. And so I sprayed them and got rid of them. And there's, of course, I have the terrarium going, but that was a lost cause. I, it was something I was playing with just for the fun of it with some moss and stuff, but it's... Lost cause, at least at this point in time. I'm not having the energy to, this is December. This is my major, my major season here to do what I gotta get done. As far as, you know, delivering packages since I work, do work for FedEx, so. And my bottle, it has my 
plant in it. Oh, I'm really just kind of beating the crap out of this right now. Um, and then my lemon tree, I wanted to show you, I, I discovered this about an hour ago. If I can get to it here, move, move uh, that out of the way for a second. I'll talk about that in a minute here. My lemon tree, the tip of it was coming out of here and it broke off. Um, I don't remember if, I don't think I pulled it off. I think it broke off. And so there, I thought, okay, well, there's a side shoot coming. I'll let the side shoot go and it'll, it'll go take itself straight. It might take itself straight and become the leader. Uh, but it's wanting to bend over. So I'm going to probably have to stake it up. But I've just noticed, like I said, a little bit ago, I hope that the video is working good for this. There's another side shoot coming out right here. And so I don't know what I'm going to do. And then where the, the leader was, the main stem was, is now another side shoot coming in. So it's got three little things coming off of it. I didn't really want a lemon bush. I wanted a lemon tree. I'm getting a lemon bush. Sometimes you don't get what you want. So, got a couple things I'm gonna probably do. First, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna let it get bigger, get stronger, do what it wants to do for a little bit and see how it goes. And if that one that was where the leader is, is getting bigger and it's strong, I might trip the, trim the side one off and, and try to grow that one. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll play it by ear and see what happens. You know, when you're a gardener, you know, sometimes you just have to let the garden grow itself. You can't get in there and manipulate every little detail sometimes. Nature's just got to take her course and do what she does. So, this bad boy... It is looking really, really good. This is the um, dead leaves. It doesn't matter how good of a person you are, how well you take care of your plants, you always have dead leaves. It's not your fault. It's just nature of the beast. Uh, I'll put that in the garbage in a minute. Um, my avocado is amazing. It's strong. It's just doing fantastic. It's loving this container. I will probably in the spring take it out of this and put it in a five gallon pot or uh, something something large. Um, I actually have one in mind, but I, I don't know if I want to do it or not. It's a, I think it's like a 30 gallon pot and it stands like three feet off the ground and it's ceramic and it's gorgeous. These leaves, I wanted to show you these. Let me move it so I can get to this set of leaves right here is only about, I want to say about three weeks old. And when they first came out, they were all spotty and light in color, which they're still kind of light in color, but they're getting darker compared to these. So I don't know if you can see on, on the camera here the difference in color, but these are slowly getting darker. And I'm wondering if that's got to do with my grow lights. I did move this out of that window that had not full sun, but it had scattered sun that light that came through on a daily basis. And this is no longer receiving that. But these new leaves, they're just soft and silky. They're light in color as well. They're not as dark, um, but they're doing great. And of course, it just keeps throwing out growth. I mean, this is insane. The growth that it's throwing out, I mean, it's just constant, constant, like burst, burst, burst of growth. Like, <clears throat> it's getting faster. It was throwing out a new set of leaves every, I don't know, once every three weeks. Now, it's setting out new leaves every week, week and a half. So, it's really growing a lot faster. I haven't done anything to it other than water it. Uh, I haven't given any nutrients. I haven't, it's just the, there's some dirt in there, but not a lot. And that's really about it. I haven't done anything. And that's what I, I think is so crazy is you hear on 
on YouTube and all these different channels and everything, everyone's constantly, oh, you got to use this and you got to do this and you got to add this and add that. And my garden, what I have here, I think I've purchased one. I technically can't say I purchased the tomato because I really didn't purchase this one. I, I purchased its mother. That was only like, a, I think it was like, dollar fifty or two bucks you know this was a dollar fifty two bucks and it's on its second go at it however if you remember the lemon uh pepper didn't per um was the lemon pepper excuse me i am so wrong the lemon pepper produced this is not the lemon pepper this is my little friend why do i always forget about it this is my little friend who decides that he didn't want to produce anything. I think he was embarrassed because he is called the yellow Peter pepper. That's right. We talked about this. When it does decide to have peppers, they look like a you know what. Okay. So it's growing great. And I'm hoping, I, I figured what I, what I would do is I'd put another year's worth of growth on it. And maybe in the, you know, the spring or the next year, this thing will actually produce, actually grow something. So we'll see. We'll play that by ear, see how that goes. Um, yeah, that's it. I, that's all I have in my grow room. There's not a whole lot of plants in here. I don't have a very big space, as you can see. You know, my it's just a small room. It's like, oh well, gosh, this is probably a long ways here, probably 12 feet. And then across the short end here is, is probably only about 8 feet at the most. And of course, it's taken up by a, you know, there's a, a shower hiding in here that we don't use. It's just, it's a clothing dryer rack is all it is. And of course the toilet and draw washer, dryer, around the corner, you know, it gets, gets you underneath the stairs, um, to the, the basement stairs uh, for storage. That's pretty much all there is. Uh, so I don't have a whole lot of room for plants. Uh, I have, I put this table out. It's a bigger table. This was in the art room. My wife was using this for doing her arts and crafts and uh, her scrapbooking and stuff. It's a bigger table, but I mean, I don't know how much more. <clears throat> I have another shade so I can hang another grow light if I need to, but I really don't. I know that when spring gets here, or closer to spring, about Mother's Day, this table is going to be completely, if we're still here, completely full. I'm going to have seed trays. I'm going to have, well, I probably won't have seed trays. I'll probably have little containers, um, and I'll be growing tomatoes, and there's going to be peppers, and there's going to be a bunch of different things that I'm preparing to eventually go out into the container, into the, the garden. Which is a whole other thing that I've been thinking about. Um, these 55 gallon barrels are a pain in the rear end to move. You know, <clears throat> if this would have been, if I would have put them there for a permanent place and never moved them, they would have worked perfect. If I would have made them self watering containers, so that half of them or a little over half of them would have been full of water that I could have drained out. They're it would not. They are completely full of dirt. So, I mean, it is what it is. I have to empty them all out. I have to move them, and I have to fill them back up. Uh, yeah, I did it so that I didn't have to bend over to do my weeding and stuff. But, you know, I've learned that if I put down mulch, nice and thick mulch, I never have to weed. So what I'm going to do... I have 11 of them in total. I have two halves uh, already, and then a, a black big, you know, that's about the size of a half. Um, 
I'm going to take these 11 full 55-gallon barrels, cut them in half, and make 22, um, what is it, 25, 25 and a half gallon containers. Uh, you know, half of those containers will have no bottoms to them. But if I flip them over and put them so the bottoms are on the ground, I won't need a bottom anyways, as long as I remember that those ones don't have a bottom so I can't move them. I'm going to put them in a place where they don't never ever need to be moved, and it is going to be our forever home. So if I ever did sell, guess what? You're getting the containers. I am not moving them. So that is the plan. That is what um, that is what I'm thinking about doing. So it's again a very long process, and um, of course, right now I can't do it because the ground is frozen. We're average temperature right now here in the inland northwest about 19 to 16 degrees somewhere in, in there, and so it's all frozen. So. Okay, well, uh, I'm getting close to the end of my memory here, and my phone's going to die on me. I, yes, I'm using my phone. That's <laughs> what you got. That's what you got to do. Um, as you can tell, this is half. I mean, there was a funky little thing that happened. I tried to fix it so it wouldn't, or I'm about to fix it so it won't. I'm not going to upload, but um, yeah, I am the only Sir Cracker. I'm coming to you from my makeshift grow room. Ooh, I just went in the dark. Uh, from my makeshift grow room here. And um, hopefully next time I upload a, an update, um, the tomato, you'll see it in a new pot. I hope to get to that tonight. I am getting really tired. It is also very, very late. Yes, that is a window behind me. Yes, it is completely dark outside. And no, it's not because it's, getting dark at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's like 10.30, 11 at night. I should be in bed because I'm going to be up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go deliver packages to my fellow friends and people. Okay. Uh, again, I'm Nilly Sir Cracker. You take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.